morning. Got my coffee. <laughs> Hopefully you have a cup of coffee too or some other thing that you'd like and we can just sit and chat. That would be cool. Um, it's been a few days since my video last and the reason for that is in doing these videos I've opened myself up and I knew that by by putting myself out on public display I was kind of prepared in a way <clears throat> so I thought for some of the responses that I might get the majority of you have been amazing you've been very supportive and um, you've shared your personal stories with me in private and that's amazing that's what I want that's the thing that I think is key and why I'm doing this we've been programmed so to speak in a way that at some point in time that took away our I don't want to say ability because we have the ability but in a way yeah our, our ability to open up and share freely without fear of the criticisms or the judgments or negative unwanted commenting and I received private messages from someone very inappropriate um, a lot of pornographic material um, verbal not verbal it was written but you know words and things that were said that they wanted to do and whatnot and that triggered me that triggered me and it made me want to stop and hide again like I have been pretty much my whole life with my feelings and the issues that I've gone through and I've thought about it the last few days I didn't respond to this person they're not going they're not worthy they're not going to get anything from me I'm not telling them to stop I'm 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 ignoring them if they don't go away then I'll be forced to do something more but right now that's I'm not gonna give them the satisfaction of knowing that they affected me and I'm not gonna let them stop me from doing what I think I need to do and thanks to you there's been many of you that have responded so awesomely to these videos you've given me encouragement and you know things like that that I've I've needed to be able to do this because it's not easy to share things that you've been told not told you told yourself not to pretty much your whole life even going to a therapist and I mean that's what we go there for is for help and to talk about our issues <clears throat> but we hold back nine times out of ten there's parts where we'll, we'll openly share and they maybe dance around the core of the issue but they don't really poke at it because we've protected that our whole life and excuse me um, we've protected that and we've taught ourselves not to share that part don't touch that part that, it's got its little cage it's buried it's protected nobody nobody can mess with that because it's real and that's where the issue is that's where the pain is that's where our um, anxiety and things like that come from and so to open up and be vulnerable and exposed is incredibly difficult but 
I think it's important. Um, when I'm done doing these videos and, and sharing these experiences with you, I do feel better. I've talked about it. I've really talked about it. And like I say, the responses, the majority of the responses that I've gotten are other people in similar situations, similar feelings and experiences, and they've encouraged me to keep going because it's it's helping, and that's what I want. That's, that's what I want. <laughs> and if I let that one, I was going to say jackass, stop me from making a difference. I've given him my power. They've got no business with it. That's mine. And I'm not going to let them stop me from being who I am. Really. And so anyway, here I am with another video. And I think it's kind of important that we talk about the things that we give our control to, we give our power to. And those are some of the most negative experiences that we've had. Whenever we go to do something and we stop because of another person's reaction to us doing it, we gave away our power. Um, And that in turn gets us to compress more stuff. And then next time it compresses another stack of stuff. And pretty soon we're up to here with compacted, compressed stuff. But when we talk about it, it's kind of like organizing a closet, you know? <laughs> it, uh, we take it, we acknowledge it. And we put it, we file it, okay, um, where it needs to be, where we're in control of it. And I just ask that we be a little bit more mindful of that when it happens to us. And it's so easy to not see it. But if we do see it, and we recognize it and we acknowledge it we take that back and that's ours again and we can be who we're supposed to be and that's kind of the only message I wanted to get out in this video was to don't let others control who you are be that person that you need to be, that you're supposed to be, and don't give that control away. It's important. It's yours. It's mine. And <clears throat> we move on. We move forward on the path that we're supposed to. And that's the goal. Keep moving forward keep being real and not letting anyone else define who we are because we're amazing like I've said before in our own right and when you open up and you share things and you find that it's helping others, it's empowering, it's healing, it's rewarding, and it makes you feel good. It makes you feel good. And that's the point of this, to feel good, to enjoy life, to feel confident in who we are, to feel strong and empowered in who we are. And so if 
if you are triggered by something. Take a good look at it. Take a good look at it. And know, if I can do it, you can do it too. I hope you do. I hope you let your light shine bright for all to see. The past is the past. We don't forget it. We don't ignore it. We learn from it. And it teaches us what we want to do, what we don't want to do, who we want to be with, who we don't want to be with. So yeah. Okay. Good morning.